later in this video. She told me I have to find a husband in the next 24 hours or she'd be choosing one for me. What? That's crazy. You must choose another husband right this instant. What is she talking about, Mirabel? Am I actually going to have to marry one of these guys? Mirabel? Isabella, this is Starlight, School of Magic. It's actually where I realized my gift. Amazing, though I would have been happy if you'd taken me anywhere. Thanks for saving me, that was a close one. Of course, but I'm so confused what actually happened. Abuelo was acting so strange, I really didn't know what to do. She told me I had to find a husband in the next 24 hours or she'd be choosing one for me. What? That's crazy and not like Abuela at all. What happens if you don't find a husband? Hello? Like I said, she's choosing one for me. And she already has someone in mind. Oh no, this is not good. Besties, make sure to smash that like button if you think something sus is going on with Abuela. Hi, Mirabelle. OMG, is this your sister, Isabella? Huge fan. Hi. Wait a second, you look familiar. <gasps> Are you Mal from the Descendant movies? That's me. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, yeah, that's kind of hard to explain. Right, Starlight's kind of a big mixture of different characters from different fandoms, all learning magic side by side. You get used to it. I see. Do you? Nope. Don't tell anyone on the aisle I said this, but I just love your flower power. I prefer agrokinesis. Bless you. What else can I do? Ah. Wow, that was long. Pardon my enthusiasm, I'm just such a big fan. Oh, I'm so glad our movie is so well received. Are you kidding? We're all just waiting on the sequel. We can't get enough. Anyway, FG, we're really worried about our abuela. She's not acting like herself at all. She is so demanding, like way more than usual. Could it be some kind of spell? It's possible, but without me being able to contact Abuela myself, it's hard to tell. What we need to do is buy some time while we figure this out. But we only have 24 hours. No, we just have to wake Abuela. Think that you found yourself a husband, so she'll leave you alone. But where am I gonna find a guy on such short notice? I mean, are there any cute guys at Starlight? Jeannie's a bit of a looker, but don't tell him I said so. There are a lot of guys, but they're all kind of taken. Do any of them have brothers? Well, Prince Adam does, but that's a bit of a sore spot. Wait a minute, FG, what if we did that cloning spell that we learned in charms class? Oh, that old chestnut. Good thinking, Mal. Cloning spell? It'll be like all the guys at Starlight have identical twin brothers, and we don't have to take them from their significant others, so it shouldn't cause any unnecessary drama. Besties, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, and once you are, comment your favorite guy at Starlight below. Okay, so what do we do? Is it some kind of super complicated spell? Well, yes and no. It's tricky because it's normally supposed to be for one person, and we're casting a pretty wide net, so it could get complicated. Wish me luck. Mel, I must say, I'm very gratified at how well you've been paying attention in class. Teacher of the Year Award, here I come. <laughs> Gemina, ominous, precepts. Did it work? I'm not sure. I do miss the salt water, but a dip in the pool is the next best thing. Eric, can you hand me a towel? No problem. Um, what? Okay, maybe I have chlorine in my eyes? I don't understand. Why do I have to go on dates with all these guys? It's Mal's idea. If we're gonna convince Abuela that you wanna marry one of these guys, then you're gonna have to find a real connection. Our best bet is to do a bunch of speed dates to find your closest match. I guess that makes sense. So when do we start? We have less than 24 hours, so pretty much right this second. What? Meet Cat Noir. Hiya. Wait. <laughs> How long have you been there? Oh, I'm very stealthy. It's one of my many charming qualities. Cat Noir is from the series Miraculous. You know, tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Never seen it. Ouch. Well, then you're starting with a fresh sleep. <laughs> have fun. Shall we? Um, okay, so you do magic. Yeah, I'm learning lots here. I wasn't born with powers like you, but I do have the Miraculous of the Cat, so I can control the power of destruction, which is pretty neat. Wow, so your name is... Cat? Oh, that's just my superhero alias. I could never tell you my real name. It'll put you in way too much danger. You can't even tell me your name? Um, I'm sorry. I think that's a deal breaker for me. Yeah, that checks out. Wow, it is such an honor to meet you, Isabella. And I have to say, should you pick me, you will want for nothing. 
I mean, like, assuming that you don't have, like, really fancy taste or something. Oh, thank you. So, you make flowers, right? I can create and nurture any kind of plant life. Hear me out. Could you make a flower hat? Um, okay. Oh, sick! Now that is some useful magic right there. So, you seem to have a passion for fashion. Is that one of your hobbies? Uh, no, nah, it's mainly just the hats. So, an actual prince, huh? Yep, got my own kingdom by the sea. <gasps> that sounds incredible. Oh, it is. I love the taste of salt water. Oh, isn't that bad for you to drink? Really? I've never heard that. Yeah, I think it can make you go insane. Huh? Huh. Hola, abuela. It's Mirabel. Mirabel. Are you with Isabella? Oh, she's actually on a date right now. That's what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> she found a very special guy, and they are very happy together. So I think you can just call off the whole... No, no, no. Not so fast. She can't be serious about this boy. Whoever he is, my choice for Isabella is far superior. But who did you? Never you mind me. I just trust your abuela. Besides, there is so much work to do for the wedding. Have you chosen a dress yet? Have I? Mira, you are her sister. She needs you right now. You must find the perfect dress. Oh, and ask Isabella what kind of flowers she plans on getting. I want to match the decorations. But abuela, I really think... Vamos, there is too much work to be done. Okay, that really did not go as I hoped. So, what kind of magic do you do here? Oh, I'm not a student here. I'm just visiting my mom. Your mom? Yeah, Elsa the Snow Queen. I'm actually a student over at Firelight School for the Super Arts. You're visiting your mom? Yeah. Oh, I'm from the future, and time magic is kind of my thing. So, if this is weird for you, I could come back as like an older version of myself, or... Uh... And I just love your name. Have you ever thought about going by Bella? Okay, so what do you like to do, Flynn? Well, I don't like to spread this around, but I'm a pretty talented thief. A thief? You steal things? Oh yeah, it's part of my roguish charm. That you steal things? That don't belong to you? That's right, intrigued. <gasps> Is anyone betting these people? So, what do you think? Is one of these guys your Prince Charming? Hmm, maybe not the prince. I'm kind of worried about that salt water thing. What? <laughs> Never mind. Why am I wearing this thing anyway? I thought this was just a stalling tactic. Sorry, Ola insisted, and she's super scary right now. <gasps> I can't do this, but it's just for right now so we can buy some time. If I could interject, I think you are the cat's Mia. Dude, the lady does not want to hear cat puns. That is a ridiculous thing to say. Do you hear how ridiculous you sound right now? Guys, be cool. This is not a good look for you. And besides, she's going to choose me. Obviously. Bella! Isabella! Right. If you choose me, we'll have the fabric of time at our fingertips. We can see all of history together. I have a fleet of magnificent new vessels, and I'll name the flagship after you, my princess. This is so much pressure. I mean, I don't want to hurt any of these guys. They're just clones. I mean, once the spell wears off, they'll just disappear. It's basically like a simulation, right? <laughs> it's no big deal. Okay, this is a big deal. What? I can't figure out how to break the cloning spell. What do you mean? I mean, I think it expired. Expired? I mean, can a spell do that? I guess so. I don't know. I'm working on it. Mal, where'd you go? You can't just say something like that and then poof away. What is she talking about? Mirabelle, am I actually going to have to marry one of these guys? May I say, that is a very becoming dress. I don't know. Abuela? Ay, que bonita, my beautiful Isabella. But how are you here? I mean, I thought you can't just poof into Starlight without special permissions. Oh, I got a little magical help from our handsome suitor. Suitor? Hola, amigos. Here comes the groom. <laughs> what? Jafar, Abuela, why on earth would you ever pick him? Whoa, now. He's twice her age. Oh. Hurtful. And a total bad guy. Mm, that one's actually true. Oh, he is the perfect man for Isabella. He is strong. He is brave. He is handsome. He is very good at water-based sports. Weird list. Hang on. 
This isn't actually coming from Awela. Jafar is using that staff to hypnotize her. Uh, uh, you say what? Oh, that's a good call. Enough of this nonsense. Isabella, it is time for you to marry Jafar. Let's go. Awela, he's not the one for me. Can't you see that? Oh, he has you hypnotized. Well, this is even worse than Mariano Guzman. I will never marry Jafar. Ouch, that does not get any easier. Then you must choose another husband right this instant. Wait, what? Mirabel, what do I do? Uh, just go along with her until I try to figure out how to break this hypnosis. Okay, what else can I do? Sorry, that was genuinely unintended. Okay, I'm trusting you on this. I choose cat pun guy. Huzzah! Seriously? That guy? Bueno, then we will hold the ceremony right this instant. What? What? Good thing I'm already in all black. Dude, no hard feelings. Do you want a best man? What are you wearing? <sighs> okay, this better work. Jimenos, Redditus, El Fontem! Okay, time to see if my hunch is right. I... I... What am I? Mirabel? Seriously? OMG, how rude! Who just goes around breaking people's snake scepters? Now, Whisk Girl said that this would definitely work. I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Um, after I visit my magic staff repair guy. Okay, bye-bye. Who was that ugly? It's okay, Awela. We'll explain it to you later. Thank you, Mal. That was a tight spot. Don't thank me yet. That spell was experimental. It could have some side effects. What do you mean? They were all clones, right? Yes, but the only way that I could get rid of them was to have them reabsorbed into the original's mind and body, so I'm worried that some of the clones' feelings and emotions might have gotten absorbed too. Uh, what? Okay, that's it for the grounds. Time to move this patrol inside. Do you want to take the classrooms or the dormitory halls? Oh, you know me, m'lady. I'm happy to do whatever pleases you. Cat, are you okay? Yeah, but I have to go. What? Go where? I have to find Isabella. I'm in love with her. What? Hey, did Cat Noir just leave here? Uh-huh. Was he acting super weird or lovesick like he was under some kind of a spell? Uh-huh. Oh geez, well, he's gonna be running around for a while because Isabella and her family just left. What do you mean? What's going on? Long story short, a spell went haywire and now he is under a spell. Okay, so we have to break the spell. I need Cat Noir. How do we break it? Well, you're not gonna like this. The only way to break the spell is true love's kiss. Looks just like a city of blinding lights.